Hello guys, it's Sabrina and I am back today in my sewing room slash workshop and I'm going to go over some tips and tricks that I have for sewing a plug suit. So let's get started! First you're going to need your fabric and I hope you remember in my last video I said how important fabric is because it's, it's the foundation of your suit. So I'd recommend about three to four yards of fabric. It's safe to go to overestimate how much fabric you need because you'll probably mess up, you'll probably need to do some test runs, and so it's nice to have extra fabric. I think for my plug suit, I bought three yards of matte metallic black fabric. This is in it, but I'm going to be showing you guys today how to set up your sewing machine for sewing basically any sort of stretch fabric. Some things to note about my sewing machine, it's a Singer Tradition, so it's one of those really basic ones. If you have anything fancier than this, you can definitely sew a plug suit. It works for me, it's got the basic functions, it's got a stretch stitch and different sizes here for stitch lengths, and it's got different stitch patterns. What you need to make sure your sewing machine has is it needs to have a stretch stitch and it needs to have a zigzag pattern because zigzags are the best way to sew stretch, stretch fabric so that it, like, it stretches nicely and the seams don't tear. If you have a regular foot inside your sewing machine, you're going to want to remove that and replace it with a plastic foot. Now, using a plastic foot will help keep your stretchy fabric from sticking together and getting caught up in under the foot. Also make sure you have the right needle in. I'm currently using a Singer Universal Ballpoint Needle in the smallest size, which is 80 out of 11. Next, take out your bobbin and replace whatever you have inside with woolly nylon. This type of thread is really fuzzy and stretchy and so you're going to want to wind it about your spool by hand and not using the machine. Doing this helps the thread keep its elasticity. Now just insert your bobbin like you usually do. I'm going to be using a white thread to contrast with the black fabric I'll be sewing on later. Here I've got my two pieces of test fabric. Before I do any actual sewing, I'm going to base stitch them first. I highly recommend base stitching your whole suit before you sew anything into place so that you can make sure there are no wrinkles or trouble spots in your suit. Since a plug suit is very form fitting, you want it to fit like a second skin with as few wrinkles as possible. If you're sewing two pieces of stretch fabric together, it's pretty common for them to bunch up or get stuck together. When this happens, just lift your sewing foot and keep the needle pierced inside the fabric and then smooth out any wrinkles. Once you're done basting, this is what your fabric should look like and you should be able to see your stitches. Now I'm going to set up my sewing machine to sew the actual stitches. I set it to the stretch stitch function and then change my sewing pattern to a zigzag pattern. Here's a close up of what the stitch looks like. It's the blue one. Now we can start sewing the final draft stitches. This is what it looks like when you're done, and if any seams from the base stitching previously are sticking out, or if the contrasting stitches just bother you, you can get a seam ripper and remove those. I've got my fabric cut out using sharp fabric scissors, and I'm just laying out my pattern here. 
and we're gonna use stabilizer today. This type of stabilizer is iron-on, so there is one smooth side and one rough side. You want the smooth side facing down, because that's where the sticky part is. After you've ironed everything together, all the fabric should stick together, and it should be really easy to sew from now. I like to use a fabric pen to draw out my pattern just to make sure I don't mess up while I sew. Also, if you're going to do this, I recommend using a fabric pen because if it just happens to leak through the stabilizer, you can still remove it from the fabric below. Now we can start sewing the applique. Once you start sewing with the stabilizer, you'll realize how well it keeps the fabric exactly where you want it and prevents wrinkles from happening. Here's the finished product. As you can see, the lines are really neat and everything just looks so perfect and I'm just, I'm so satisfied by it. The worst part about stabilizer is having to tear it all off. If any of the pieces get stuck under the seams, just use tweezers to remove them. Now get rid of the war remains. Here's what the applique looks like. There are still a little bit of pieces of stabilizer in there, but other than that, it's all set. And that's how you can sew appliques on stretch fabric. I really hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. Yeah, I'll be back next time with some more help on making more specific parts of the suit. And together, we can achieve our dreams of getting in the goddamn robot, because Shinji sure as hell won't. Yeah, yeah, Shinji-kun. If I know that.